In this video we are going to reveal our magnificent 7 essentials for your camper van road trips. In no particular order, let's get started. The Rich Monkey, possibly the most versatile item you would buy for your travels. It's a two piece frying pan that is hinged but can also be separated. So whether you have a single burner or a two piece burner, the Ridge Monkey is really very versatile for whatever type of food you would like to cook, from fry ups to omelettes and even a tasty toasty. There are two sizes available, so just be aware if you purchase the larger version that they sit side by side on your two pot burner. Leveling ramps. Wherever you may go on your travels, you're going to be on uneven ground at some point and you're going to need ramps to level your vehicle out. No matter where you go, you're going to need them at some point. Because you don't want to be having a breakfast and your eggs are running out the frying pan. <laughs> well, you'll be eating them off the floor. There is a quick and easy way to find out if your van's level or not. There's a free app you can get from Play Store. Just download it to your phone. It's called Bubble Level. And whenever you arrive at your destination, just place it on the floor and it'll tell you if you're level enough and if you perhaps need to use your ramps. Because it certainly helps when it comes to the cooking side of things. There's nothing worse when you're driving around and you hear all these squeaks and rattles. I've got the solution for that. We use this anti-slip mat for our road trips. And this is what we do. This stops the rattles. It comes in handy when we're on our travels. Put it in your cupboards because it stops all your items slipping about. Just cut it to your desired size and it'll help eliminate a lot of the noises while you're on the move. Water storage containers, you can never have enough. Unless you happen to go on a campsite where you have the good fortune to stock up on your water storage containers or you maybe have these collapsible ones that take up a little less room in your van. These are essential no matter where you go. Bear in mind that even though these water containers are quite cheap to buy, they take up space. They also add extra weight to your vehicle. And as for the collapsibles as space savers, they're only good when they're empty. Site Seeker. This app is a quick and easy way to search for camping and caravan club sites. You can filter by facilities, read reviews and then book online. And if you are a member you can save up to 30% off your bookings. Stay at exclusive club sites and get access to many more benefits. Park for night. With over 8,000 spots to park for the night. This app is popular with camper vanners, and if you need to pull up somewhere for the night or for the love of finding a wild spot to camp, you'll find many hidden gems on this app. Park for Night also has spots all across Europe. Other useful apps for your travels are Search for Sites and Google Earth. But if you are looking for some fun when out and about, try these, especially if you enjoy nature. One of the best bits about finding a camping spot is getting a good clear view of the night sky and the twinkling stars. Sky view tells you exactly what you're looking at and where to look for constellations, stars and satellites. I find this app great fun. Whatever you get up to on your road trips, having a comfortable sleep will better your adventures. Whether you have a fixed bed, 
make sure to have a good mattress. If it's a rock and roll setup, a mattress topper will enhance your comfort. As for Warham, well that's a personal choice in how much storage you have. We have the rock and roll with a topper, one double winter sleeping bag and two single summer sleeping bags that open up to a single duvet. So this option will give you more choice throughout the seasons. And if you're looking for something a little extra, watch out for our bonus surprise. Power stations. There are many companies out there that manufacture these power stations and they can vary in price depending on the size of wattage you require. And nowadays we all like all these accessories and all mod cons and if you don't happen to be going on a campsite where you have the good fortune of a hookup or something like that, then these guys are really quite versatile, especially if you enjoy going off grid more. You can run all your accessories off it, for example we've got lighting for the van, we don't like to go without our power on our phones. Definitely the phone, that's the most important thing for me. Little power banks. All types of accessories nowadays require some form of electricity and your leisure battery ain't gonna last very long if you like using all these items. We also run our fridge off it and it has the cigarette lighter as well. You'll find that most of these manufacturers give you a few options for your, your plug-ins from cigarette lighters, USB-C, USB and also a three pin socket. I think it's a great invention this. Yeah. yeah, they're not the cheapest to buy but they're really quite versatile because you can use them indoors or outdoors as well. Even if you had a power cut at home, you can run some USB lights off it and at least you've still got some form of electricity, even charging your phone, eh? Mm hmm That's what I love about it, being able to charge my phone. Yeah, so you can also add solar panels to them. So they can, there's three methods of charging them. You can either plug them in at home, you can put them into your cigarette lighter when you're travelling and it charges it up or you can add these solar panels, which is obviously an extra expense. Our bonus surprise is this heated throw. Yeah, we find this really, really cosy, especially with us doing so much winter wild camping. Especially if you have a jackery or you're on one of these hookup campsites. We discovered this heated throw a few years ago and we find it really great, especially if you don't want to start your engine up to keep warm or you maybe want to put on your warm air blower. It saves you heat in the full van. And look, it's also fur lined. Love it. <laughs> this thing was relatively inexpensive. It takes a three pin plug for your jackery. It's only 160 watts, you can run this for hours and it happens to have 9 temperature settings and 9 timer settings. So even if you get nice and cosy As we do <laughs> as, as you do in winter Even if you get nice and cosy and fall asleep with this on it'll automatically shut down and it doesn't use up much power in your jackery either Great! I like it I highly recommend it for those of you, whether you're on a hookup or you have the good fortune of having one of these power stations. So we hope you enjoyed our little Magnificent 7 Essentials. Take care and happy travelling. <laughs> Bye for now.